Hey guys, I know I said no videos, uh, hey guys, I know I said no videos this week because I've got holidays to focus on, um, well now that's all over, and I usually do these vlogs on the weekend, and I thought I'd make a different kind of vlog today, so, <clears throat> if you've, uh, been around the Linux subreddit or, you know, the Linux Action Show subreddit, you might have seen this right here. Now this is an open source laptop. Now. If you guys know anything about me, I love open source hardware and I'm trying to find new ways to incorporate that into the channel. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna buy this, this Pine Book. I might buy both, but I'm thinking I'll start off with the more expensive one. It's 99 bucks, you build it to order, like you, <clears throat> if you go here, you book it and you say, okay, this is the size I want, this is my email, and then they'll let you know when they're ready to purchase, when you're ready to purchase it. But the reason that I think this is good is because if you are like me and you're a fan of Chromebook hardware, and and not a lot of people understand that, right? But I love Chromebook hardware because I love the fact that, number one, it's usually ARM or some kind of mobile x86, but also the hardware is really, really uh, different. The parts are non-moving usually, there's no spinning drives, everything is memory based like uh, EMMC chips and everything. So it stays incredibly cool, battery life usually lasts ages, and they're perfect to hack and run Linux on. Well this doesn't need to be hacked, like if you remember my, uh, my CR48 video where I took the developer Chromebook and I just put uh, Arch Linux on it, this is essentially what it's going to be. And this is a fully realized uh, single board computer with the Cortex A53 64-bit. And uh, it's got mini HDMI. It's got everything that you would expect in like an actual laptop, except it's like, imagine taking a better, more powerful Raspberry Pi and just putting it in here. And uh, two gigabytes of RAM, uh, 16 gigabytes, uh, Bluetooth 4, 802.11 BGN, two USB ports, micro SD slot, headphone jack. It's it's a full computer. And it's cheaper than a Chromebook. It doesn't come with an OS on it, but honestly, and if you if you know anything about me and fun with Linux, you already know this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> and uh, the architecture is common, so I could just run the Odroid C2 uh, on it the image or, or just compile it myself like it works with v8 so but pine a64 and uh for those of you who don't know what the pine 64 is or the pine a64 i should say this is what it is it's basically a better raspberry pi 64-bit ddr3 gigabit ethernet i mean like if you're looking for like a single board computer and you want to build like a, a cody machine maybe you want a home theater and you're thinking oh raspberry pi is the way to go no way this is what you want or you know the old droid or the beagle bone black you know basically this is just what i'm thinking so i'd love to hear your feedback in the comments i am really excited for this i am going to purchase it as soon as i get my check in two weeks gonna get it here gonna do an unboxing video and i want to do all this because i honestly have not seen anyone do anything on this on YouTube at all about the Pine Book, and if I can get my hands on one, I can talk about how to get uh, an OS on it. I can talk about how to maybe set up uh, an external SD card storage as the home partition. I could do a review. I could use it as my daily driver for a while for like for WordPress and writing and stuff for my blogging stuff do some benchmarking. I really think it's going to be a really, really cool thing. So, uh, sorry if you weren't expecting videos this week. Uh, I decided to just pop on Vogel screen here and do a little screencast. <laughs> and uh, I will put the link to buy this in the description because if you're looking for something and you consider it a Chromebook, but you want a, a, a cheap laptop, it might not be the best, but it's open hardware and who doesn't love open hardware, right? So I'll see you guys on Monday. I've got a flat pack video planned. You know, I did the uh, 
I did snap packages last time. Someone requested that I do the same thing for flat packs, so that will be coming. So uh, I'm going to completely shift focus on the Fun with Linux channel to my main series and to the new show, which I'm still developing, which might have to wait till I get a new camera. But uh, please like this video if you liked it and comment below. What are your thoughts on the Pine book? Would you buy it? Do you think it's a good idea? That's what I'd like to know. All right.